Hi, in this video we are going to look at four different stages in the financial independence journey. This will help you understand your status. The reason why we want to look at this is so that you may be able to know where you are versus where you are going. Welcome to Manifestations and I am Alright, status number one. This is known as the emergency status. This is the status where your expenses or bills surpass your monthly income. These are those people whose total expenses are 10 and they earn 7 or 6. So long as your income is below your expenses, you're in an emergency status. Status number two, bad status. That place where your expenses and your income are equal. So if you earn 10, your expenses are about 10. So whatever you get versus what you spend is at par. These are those people who've managed to fit their income. They've managed to design their expenses to fit into the amount of money that comes in. If you are one of those people, you are in a bad status. The next status or status number three is the good status. This is that place where you have an income, whether it is from business or from salary income, but your income is more than your expenses. Of course, that is a good place to be. But is it the best? The fourth and final status, the financially independent status. This is the ultimate goal of everyone. We all want to get to this status. Why is it important and what is financially independent? This is when, mark this, your expenses, all your expenses are paid for by your assets. You have invested in assets. The assets are paying your expenses. If that is you, then congratulations, you are financially independent. But wait, I want to explain further. What is financially good status and financially independent status? Financially good, this person has money left after they've paid their expenses. It doesn't really need to be a lot of money. I will come back to that later. But the, this person depends on their salary income or their business income. Their business needs to be running. Their salary needs to be coming in. They need to be working for them to continue enjoying the surplus after every expense has already been taken care of. The financially independent on the other side does not depend on their income, whether business or salary income. So whatever they do does not necessarily pay their bills. What pays their bills is what they have invested in. So if you invested in an asset that works without you necessarily having to be there. Like you can take a full vacation, go for a full month, and your rent will still be paid. Go for a live sick for nine months, and your expenses will still be taken care of. If you are that kind of person, then you are financially independent. But I wouldn't want to stop this without clarifying that Financially independent is not always about having so much money. If, for example, my expenses are about 15,000 shillings a month and my salary is 25,000 shillings a month, same with someone whose expense is 150,000 and they earn 300,000 shillings a month. They have a surplus of 150, a surplus of 100. They are also in a financially good status. If that is, that is money coming from a business or employment, then you're in a financially good place. Also, someone would have 
15,000 shillings as expenses the whole month and they have an asset which gives them 30,000 shillings a month they have an asset paying for their entire bills without them touching their own other sources of income maybe like income from salary or from business that person is also financially independent because they can choose not to go to work for a whole month and their rent will still be paid their electricity will still be paid that is what it means to be financially independent and there's also another person whose bills are about 150,000 and they have an asset which brings them around 200,000 or 150,000 and it pays for all their expenses that person is also financially independent so financially independent or being in a financially good situation does not mean having so much money you could be financially good even have a lot of money in the bank or in pension or whatever it is but you're just in a financially good status which does not mean you are financially independent So we shall be releasing more videos to educate you on how you can move from the point where you are to financially independent state. If you've not subscribed, press the subscribe button, press the like button, share this with your friends, invite them. We don't want anybody to miss this and many more others that are coming that we want you to miss.